Why God so loved the world, yeah. Yeah. loved the world, yeah. that he gave yeah. his only begotten son, yeah. that, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, yeah. but shall have what? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's talking about love, but Jesus yeah. yeah. go out on the cross, pain, bleed, and die, but get up. Feel good this morning. That old song said, What the world need now? Yeah. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Yeah. I was prophesized in a record a long time ago. Yeah. And we're missing love. That's why children are killing one another. Yeah. Yeah. That's why parents are killing their children. The children are killing their parents. Yeah. Because they don't love them. Why well, you have so much teen violence and, and different things going on in life. Yeah. That's why you have mixed and mixed and made up relationships. Yeah. Female, female, and boy, boy. Yeah. Because they hadn't been taught yeah. the love of their gender. Verses 1 through 7. I'm pray briefly. Again, I thank God for this great pastor and his lovely family. Amen. What chapter? What chapter? Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. When you find it, say amen. We're going to talk about today why you're looking at God's code of conduct for a Christian. All right. yeah. God's code of conduct yeah. of Christian relationship. Amen. Therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, I'm just going to go ahead and read. And read it Therefore, the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that you walk worthy of vocation wherein ye are called. Yeah. With all lowness and meekness, with all long suffering. Yes. Forbearing one another yes. in love. Yes. Endeavoring to keep unity of the spirit and bonds of peace. There's one body, huh. one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your cause. That's right. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Oh, one God and Father of all. Yes. Who is above all yes. and through all and in you all. Find it. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Amen. Amen. We're talking about this morning God's code of conduct. I'm not talking about the Navy code of conduct. I'm not talking about the Army, the Marine, the Coast Guard. I'm not talking about the Sheriff Department, the City Police Department. We're talking about God's code of conduct for fellowship, uh, for Christian relationship. Jesus came and gave us 21 other commands. 20 commands. And commands. Dr. DuPont, Dr. DuPont know what that means. When you're given a command, you have to what? Follow. <laughs> and so we're going to learn today that my sister and brother, the art of Christian behavior covers many aspects of the relationship between born again believers Amen. and our relationship with the world at love. Right, there in the New Testament, we are called the one another command. Mm -hmm. These commands would follow a source of correct Christian behavior. Yeah. The command could be looked at as God's code of conduct for Christian relationship. Yeah. However, we do not naturally do things that are commanded in the one another commands. 
of the word of God. That's why we are having so many, that's why we're having so many problems in our relationships and in our family and in our Christian church. When we don't follow, I'm not talking about the Ten Commandments. I'm talking about the commandment that Jesus gave when he came here on this earth. First of all, he said, love. People get that word for bad and twisted. Come yeah, on. Come on. Yes. Come on. That means we ought to hold up one another. Right. Amen. Even when they're wrong. Amen. You don't have to stoop to nobody else. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Some things you ought to put up with because you are a Christian and you ought to not stoop down to nobody else's level. Come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. Forbear means to tolerate something with patience yes. and doing willing to forbear huh. others' failure. You ought to put up another failure, not talk about them on the phone, yes. not put them down in the community, yes. but help lift them up. Come on, yes. even when they do you wrong. You ought to still hold them up. Yes, sir. Not only that, but we ought to not speak evil to one another. Yes. Yes. No, yes. Don't mumble yes. against one another. Yes. Don't yes. fight and devour one another. Yes. We're not going to vote one another to envy. All right, then. Have the same care for one another. Receive yes. one another. Teach one another. Talk. Talk. Where the love go? <laughs> Priest. We're living in a time now where folk don't want to hear sound doctrine. Go ahead. Go ahead. They won't teach us that. Took it eight years. What I like about here, the real going to tell it like it is. Because every now and then we need to be told off. Because if the word would penetrate our heart, we would learn one another. Right. As I'm getting close to a close, I don't want to hold you long. Yeah. Yeah. But we ought to admonish one another. Amen. Counsel one another. Yes. Tell them something good. All right. Don't kick them when they're doing bad, but right. if they're hungry, give them a little bread to eat. Right. If somebody dies, don't ask them what they need. Just take some food over. Right. If you see somebody, child, look like they're hungry, don't ask them what they need. That shows your love for your neighbor. Because many of our children don't get a meal until they go to school. Many of our children have to clean up and wash up in their face and don't even have proper clothes to wear and have to wear them over and over. And then some of you have children that have good clothes and just let them sit in the closet and they won't give them away. Maybe not here, I'm just talking. Come on. Amen. Then you have to submit to one another. Come on. Confess your sins to one another. Do not lie to one another. Be kind to one another. Yes. And comfort one another. Jesus said, a new commandment I give you that you love one another. Christ is the vehicle for our Christian conduct. Oh, yeah. Teaches us in our marriage, indeed in our relationships. Because if you can't love nobody, how can you love a God you never see? Come on, that's good. 
Amen. 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 You saw him, let me know. <laughs> All right. You, right you cannot love God or you cannot love Jesus. You cannot accept the Holy Spirit until you learn how to love ye one another. Come on, Amen. This is the this is the getting ready room. This is where you get ready. You prepare yourself for the upper room. This is where you learn from your pastor. This is where you learn from his preaching and his teaching how to love one another that I may see Jesus for myself. Oh, Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, my sisters and brothers, do not murmur or murmur against somebody. As I close here, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. you got to watch how you mumble yes, and grumble. Because God say, how long shall the wicked congregation grumble against me? Say, I've heard yes, the grumbles of the people of Israel, yes, which they grumble against me. Yes, yes. And all the people yes. of Israel grumble yes. against Moses and Aaron. Yes, yes. So, murmuring is when you part your lips and say something that nobody can hear. Yes. Yeah, you may be pressing them out. Yes. But I Don't 